All right. Yeah, so this is some uh, round two action between Stuve and Jay Fajit in the third qualifying tournament. Stuve going as the Brits, and he's uh, gone for a universal carrier first. I yeah. like it. First of all, I've never seen him play Brits. Every time I've seen him stream, he's been playing Soviets or OKW, so I was not expecting this. But if there's a map to use Brits on versus OKW, it's this map. That's for sure. So I think it's a good tactical decision, strategic decision. He's getting that UC and he's running it straight to the outside, looking for the Kubel, I imagine. Kubel or Pyo, yeah. I like that as well. If only it could cap like the Google. <laughs> there goes Google getting chased away, taking quite a lot of health damage in the process. Putting it in check, I like it. Now I'm gonna switch over to the Sturm Pioneers, which are nearby. Sturm Pioneers getting a lot of damage in return though. Now's Universal Carry is actually taking quite a lot of damage, probably needs to pull it back for some self-repairs. Though he did actually cap the uh, munitions point first, so he's got quite a lot of munitions spare to do exactly that with. Yeah, smart. He's looking to get an upgrade as soon as possible. New piece of Probably heavy cover totally on this. rotated though. Yeah, new piece of heavy cover on this uh, fuel point as well. Oh, the car, yeah, I didn't notice that. Oh, Universal Carry gets spotted in self-repair mode. It's gonna uh -oh. take basically all that health damage. That rear armor. What is he doing? Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's gonna get away, but just throw away those munitions. He's definitely not gonna be able to get it to full. Quite a lot of health damage on these fox units. Jade getting very aggressive. Stoof has managed to get out on this right hand side though, captured the fuel over there, so he's got the resource advantage right now. Yeah, Jay got a little bit greedy with that Volk. It was a good initial engagement, but he should have should have stopped chasing once that Tommy hit the building. Just gonna cost him a bunch of manpower for nothing. Because at the end of the day, even though you get that good damage on the UC, you didn't cost them any manpower. Like, it's just munitions. Still relevant, but it's not like manpower. Because he threw away, what do these guys cost? Like 24, 25 each model? Yeah, I think it's 25. almost 100 manpower for that. Jumps into the building and steals it right as the incendiary grenade was wearing off. Forces Stuve away, but this is still delayed Jay's fuel a tremendous amount. Hasn't had fuel this entire game so far. It's going to delay the looks a long time. Yeah, he'll have the looks out about. He'll have it out after the AC comes out if Stuve decides to rush it. And Jay also not going for a fourth Fox Screen here, which we have seen be quite popular these days alongside the Kubel. Yeah, get enough meat as possible, so you can win the early game. There we go, he's got the Vickers K up. Stoom Pioneer's getting bullied here. And he is actually going for a battle group. He knows he's missed the timing on the fast loot, so he's just gonna settle for the safe bet. Oh my god, look at that burst on the Vickers. <laughs> he's tearing those Stoom Pioneers to shreds. <laughs> Love it. Jay's staying aggressive with this Kubel, but it looks like it could go down here. Yeah, he's gonna try to cut it off. Yeah, he's just gonna get it with the Tommies, right? Yeah, yeah out of control. Uh, he's trying to... You see, it was a... You know, it's one of those cool things to do is to push dudes out of cover with those light vehicles like the Kubel that you see, but 
He didn't have anyone ready to take advantage of it until he had to retreat the Kubel. So it was all for nothing and it cost him the Kubel in the end, so... It was a good idea, but it just wasn't executed the best. So Jay actually going for the battle group. We haven't seen that much this tournament. Yeah, like I was saying, he missed the Luke's rush timing, so he's just going for the safe bet now. That he doesn't want to just fall into the AEC with his Luke's and be left out of healing and potentially getting um, I ISG and everything. This is a tough. Oh, I might still go for the flag half track at this rate. He's, he needs something to fight back. Yeah, this universal carry is bullying him. Oh, but it got really close here. Could have taken a Faust. It wouldn't have died though, no, right? No, no, I think it needs... I think it's got 200 health, so it would have only done... He might even lose his Volk. Half. I think he's lost this for sure. If it doesn't, like, clip around... Yeah, that's yeah, there it goes. Oh man, Jay! Losing two units early, getting off to a rough start here against Stoof. Stoof, this is what we were talking about with the Universal Carry. This is how nasty it can be, especially on a map like... This open, yeah. yeah. crossing in the woods quite wide, quite open. But to Jay for Jet's defense, he also gets up the same time as me. He's on the west coast, so... I'm going to put it up against uh, Exhaustion. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's quite often I think Jay performs well in that first round, but he's kind of run out of steam for the second round. The point is being well, that's, that's my read on it, at least. Yeah. Probably due to lack of sleep, I, I, I believe. Yeah, if we ever get Co3, then hopefully it's got a huge NA community. And, and uh, Oceanic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That way uh, doesn't end up where tournaments are all strictly European afternoon and we just get shafted. Oh, he's coming in for the Faust here. I don't think he's going to get it off without losing it's the squad. It's quite slow, yeah. He might lose oh, he's going to lose Oh it. my god! Gets it with the other one, That's but... Not a good trade, dude. No. Okay, retreat the Volk. He's trying to get the wipe on that Tommy. Volk getting also very low. You see, like, you have to retreat it there because he has nobody covering the retreat path. He doesn't know if there's a Tommy there. Like, it's totally dark. So you need to retreat. Because if that happens, you're going to lose that squad as well. And Stu's building another UC. What the heck? Oh, I've never seen anyone rebuild it this late. No. <laughs> very unconventional. But it's going to work out because j Jets is not building a rack now, he's rebuilding the Volk and it's just going to go back to bullying him. <laughs> <laughs> and the AEC. This, this is, is pretty interesting. Yeah, this is very interesting. Oh, well what's he doing with this machine gun? Tried to reposition it. Looks like it's it could go down. Yeah. Don't really want to be recruiting with Stern Pioneer models either. Very expensive. He's got to get it now if he wants it though. Yeah, because the UC is almost there. Oh, and Stu backed out his uh, squad from the fuel house here and healed them up all the way while they were waiting for the uh, flame nade to wear off. Yeah. Now he's just going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> nice trick. Oh, he's going to hop in and take the damage just to prevent that. Yeah, last second or two of damage. Oh, lag. Saying lag. You know, there is a bit of delay though when you play from West Coast to Europe. Like, there's a lot more noticeable input delay. I mean, I can't really say if that's really what's hurting him right now, but it is noticeable. I deal with that quite a bit. Yeah, sometimes. Just sometimes, some against some players, I just seem to lag as well. Yeah, like, like Eastern, like Eastern Europe. Like, if I'm playing against someone, like in Poland or or Russia. Yeah. Like, it's really bad. Yeah, Russia sometimes for me as well. I'm not sure how the, like, lag compensation works. What kind of... Um, yeah, me neither. It some... seems decent, though. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yep. Universal Carrier racking up some damage here. Squad with a Faust coming in from the rear, though. AC is nearby. Oh, he doesn't get it off. Going for his tier 4. Yeah, so he's going to plop that down on the cutoff. Oh! Late retreat on that engineer. He gets away. Close call. Why not a Kissinade? I'm not sure, honestly. I don't know why he didn't get her a kitten. Oh, and he loses another squad! Maybe he is lagging. I don't know, that seems really uncharacteristic of any player in a tournament level to be retreating this, this late. Like, he's done it like three times now. Or he's just like super drunk because he doesn't even have a raketten. Oh, and he has to cancel his tick, get spotted by the AC and the Tommy. Oh, that's that's probably the nail in the coffin there for Jay. I have to rebuild that truck, yeah. Yeah, the truck. And he did, does lose a bit of resources. What's delaying his tick? It wasn't full health, right? When he canceled it? Yeah, it was pretty much full health, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, he didn't he didn't lose much, but still very costly, especially when he's got two units queued up from that building already. Can't like instantly rebuild yeah. it. Hundred manpower and yeah. fifteen fuels, so pretty expensive. And his spot it's expensive for sure. But Rakidin is, you know, it's good at repelling the uh universal carrier, but it can be hard to get the kill. With the Rakitten. We'll see how it goes once he gets it onto the field. Yeah, but it does prevent you getting bullied like this. Like he's got no way to fight back here. Still has his fuel connected though. One saving grace here. Yeah. Is about to change. I wonder if this, if the, this stage is considering maybe going for special operations, just not ticking. I think that's what I would do. Just pull down on like a second raquette. But he's just super delayed in doing his usual movements like these two volts have been sitting here forever doing nothing yeah. he is uh doesn't seem to be playing to his usual potential supply line's been cut enemy causing trouble trying to take one of our points maybe Stuve is ddosing him or something i don't know <laughs> <laughs> maybe ddof on ivan is this a new conspiracy theory uh, yeah you never know man his, he put a u in his name instead of steve so he could be doing anything <laughs> for kitten just hasn't found his mark at all. Building it into position now, it's taken forever to get there. When you see somebody leaving their stern pioneer like here, he's not even capping. Yeah. This is like a dead giveaway that something's moving in. Yep. And it misses. Oh, the classic. It, oh my god, it just went right through it. Man, I hate Rickens. Third time's a charm, but that's... Uh... In that spot, like, it is a total giveaway. But he should have parked the Rickens even closer up. So he could guarantee that second shot. If Stu doesn't catch it right away. Yeah, well, I, I mean, think... outside of him missing, he might get a chance. I think he was just lucky. Like, he was like, oh, man, if I, I've been sitting here already for, like, 20 seconds waiting for this to get in position. Can't wait any longer, you know? It's already yeah. a giveaway, but... Oh, this is just absurd at this point. It's taking chunks off his battle HQ. I <laughs> never see that. Getting onto this very un 
an often seen cutoff as well. Yeah, that one's harder to cut off because with the uh, other base MGs, they can actually shoot at you there, right? Or yeah. did they remove that? No, I think it's still the same case. No, they changed it. Did they? I think maybe they, maybe they did it. change it. I, think, uh, I remember it was a problem, like you couldn't cap that most of the time. Yeah, it looks like they maybe did move it a little bit closer to the trees. So what's Steve gonna buy here? A Centaur or a Cromwell or is he gonna wait till Comet or something? Because he could have bought Cromwell or Centaur a while ago. Jet's still fighting back though. Yeah, I mean, he's still going hard. Almost killed that machine gun there. Is indeed bolt. going for uh, special operations as we thought he might. Go for the Command Panther. Yep. He also got a sniper, I didn't realize that he got one. No, it must be new. Oh, if that sniper connected, he might have got that squad. Come on, Hail Mary. Not no, I didn't even go for the long range tech ground there. Always gotta go for it. Yeah, gotta go for those long range scatter shots. Always see Tyro do it. <laughs> Not always, but I, I do it like most of the time. Try to make it a habit. Yeah. It's a uh, pretty, pretty good ability. Yeah, I mean, if it pays off that one time, it's worth it. It's worth the effort. Especially on, uh, I think this is like reasonably flat ground as well. So it's There's not quite, that much elevation. Yeah, quite prone to scatter along. If, maybe if you're on a hill or something like that, you might not bother, but those are close to ideal conditions for a scatter shot. Building this ISG here, try to get these Tommies out of their comfortable green cover. What else can you do? Is there some wind in your room? Yeah, I have a fan going. Uh, okay. Is it really bad? No, nah, just during that last sentence it was especially bad. Whoa, the sniper so far forwards. Runs into the, like, stealth Rakitin. <laughs> it was... Like, I would have oh, went oh. from the shot there. <laughs> Get lucky. No, they're they're kidding. Uh, only does twenty five percent damage versus infantry these days. Oh, that's right. They changed it. Yeah, it used to used it's to like be bazookas and stuff. Used to be very strong against them, but not anymore. Now the miss. misses there against yeah. the UC forces off this infantry section with his. Volks. But the engagements are typically going in Stu's favor here with the five man sections in green cover. You can't really charge at them with the Volks. You're going to take a lot of losses. Yeah. And that's really going to hurt him when he's trying to get the command panther out in two and a half CPs. This manpower float won't be efficient. Stu's floating himself. Yeah, he's gone for hammer. So I think he's getting a cobbit. Yeah, I love comets. Good fun. Not that good of a tank, though. Not anymore. Whenever I build it, I think of the good old days. <laughs> Things just wipe everything, and be really good versus panthers and every kind of tank. Yeah, ever since they had the uh, moving accuracy nerf back to 0.5, it had really been uh, powerful enough, in my opinion. It's got that busted phosphorus still, though. Yeah, it can't, uh, the phosphorus can't kill anymore, though. You still yeah, it can't to... kill, but it's worth it because you can prevent other tanks from shooting at you and stuff. 
Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's not good, but I mean, it used to be even yeah, more Yeah, it's not busted. as ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It and it to... can't shoot as far into the fog. Before, you could shoot it even... Yeah, like, it was like 80 range way or something, farther than right? It's, yeah, way farther yeah, it's, than its actual range. It's crazy. Which is ridiculous. Good old days, good old days. And then the Churchill, you know, the Crocs and the regular Churchills had like even more HP. Oh, the, the regular Churchill still does. Oh, that's right, the croc is the one that got reduced. Yeah. Trying to creep this Rakitin into range. This universal carry, you know, he rebuilt it. It's back up that, to V3. Yeah. Obviously being yeah, a good decision. It just decision. prevents him from taking the sign. He could have possibly gotten range for the Faust. Yeah, I thought he was in off, fast but... range also. He's just bleeding. Non-stop coming to this side. Comet's out. It's gonna increase the bleed even further. Jay still has about one and a half CPs to go before he can call on that Command Panther. This Comet's gonna bring his ticker up much quicker. Double mine here. Probably gonna hit it with the Rakan at the worst possible time if this comet moves up. Oh, it's right on top. Where's the sweeper at? Okay, it's moving up at a base. There you go. Steve knows there's a Rakan here and he's gonna walk up to it. Could wipe it right here with the way the Rakan retreats. Yeah, Ooh, that was later. a big hit. <laughs> God, Rakuten's pissed me off. Even by just watching them. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't play that properly either. Like, he just walked it up there on its own. Instead of capping something, I mean, how how much more obvious can it get? So, Stu definitely punishing him for that. Jay yeah, did get the ISG, but this is quite a big map for it. He has trouble moving around. Yeah, you gotta continuously micro that thing on this map. It's not like Fame and Bill. Kid misses another shot on the Comet this time. Building up some CP though to be able to call in that Command Panther. Yeah, he's already got the required amount of fuel and manpower. Comet goes oh, in for the crush. crush! on the Comet. Oh, it's gonna kill the Volt. Okay, no, it misses point blank. Okay, Jay, you need to retreat that. Yeah. You got a second chance. <laughs> Time to go. He's probably gonna die now. Yeah, yeah. on the road. The kitten finally moved in position to counter this. Oh, and Comet gets a juicy hit. And the kitten bounces. Eight kills now on the Comet. Not even a third of the weight of V1, though. Oh, in the middle! Oh, Sniper on the mine, Ice G triggers wow. it. Wow. Sniper goes down. Wow. And here, what a stroke of luck for him there. Here, here comes the Command Panther now. Can he turn it around? 100 VPs left for Jay. Triple cap currently. Quite a few mines down there. He needs though. to get his sweeper over there. Yep. He can't walk over a mine at this stage. He's marked it, gets a shot off. But he's on a direct trajectory to run over this mine right here. He oh, indeed. he's going to run it over. Okay, stops right there. Yeah, and loses another bull. He was scared he of the, the AC. Shot. Yeah, AC trade shot. Stu's been floating so much that as soon as he saw the command panther, he queued up two uh, AT guns. <laughs> <laughs> it shows how much ahead he's been this whole time. Well, that was continuing to chase. No mines in this section. Not on hold fire either. Shot at that retreating engineer. Still VPs are draining. 55 left for Jay. Only just getting on one of the VPs now. Where is he going to find another one to decap? Yeah, I don't see... J for J come back from this. He's no. lost two Volks in the last few minutes. Um, Stu hasn't lost anything but that sniper to that unlucky ISG shot on the mine. And he's got a
crap ton of fuel in the bank to build another comet if he really wanted to. He should have canceled that second AT gun though. Even though it doesn't really matter. Just saying. Doesn't really need it. But yeah. I might catch him by surprise here. Nice smoke usage though. Preemptively. Okay, still has a few tricks up his sleeve, but training quickly. I think two AT guns is fine. You know, it does delay his next vehicle, but you can just like camp one AT gun on each VP and then the Command Panther can't be that effective. Yeah. Stu just holding his two VPs. He doesn't really need to rush for the third one here. He calls in the smoke. Clearly he wants to push into the center. Stu Pioneers in there. V4, they're going to be doing some good damage. But the Comet is fully repaired. Doing some nice attack ground hits. He's got access to his stun grenades, although it's a little late now. He's gonna have to retreat the squad. Nice ISG hit though. Yeah, and just Jay can't find a way onto one of these VPs, getting st stuffed at every angle. Comet charging in here, runs right into a kitten. Double AT guns from the side though. Ooh, gets a rear armor hits off on him here. Caught missing that Panther shot on the move. For itself. Oh, he gets with a tree shot long range. That tree shot is so good. Mm -hmm. Coming back. Rakitten gets a rear armor hit on the comet, but Rakitten gets decrewed. Could get a Faust on here, though, from uh, a crazy flank. We have those AT guns. Okay, AT guns coming back in. Yeah, but he's not. Yeah, he's gonna bleed out on BPs here. Three BPs. Gets AAC though. Yeah. One more shot on that comp will go down. He's gonna go after it. But yeah, what one is Steve BP. Doing? Not going in there? Okay, he's up one BP. Yeah, it's, it's too late. Got a little sloppy there. He's trying to finish off the game. But you never know. I've seen it happen before where you someone makes that critical mistake in the end, thinking they have it, but then the other person is able to outplay them and make the game go on longer and potentially win it it's happened plenty of times mm -hmm. so you guys got to be careful with those end game pushes if you had both those raketons ready with that mark target that comic could have been totally deleted yeah i think overall, but it didn't so yeah stu've played this really solidly i think those universal carriers we got to see some really nice uc usage from him this time and that's a large part of his success on this map whereas jay you know he was complaining about lag didn't seem like I don't want to take away from Stuve, but I don't think we saw the best Jay in this game. Yeah, I mean Stuve played it obviously well. He's been practicing a lot. The UC did a lot of work on this map that we commented earlier. This is like the best possible map for the UC. Um, but yeah, Jay for Jet, either exhaustion, lag, maybe a bit of both. But he really wasn't up to a hundred percent there. He had a lot of squads just idling. Um, he wasn't rotating his AT guns for those critical engagements. Um, he threw away Volks, like, for nothing, trying to get the UC. Just mistakes he doesn't, I don't think he usually makes, so kind of worried. Hopefully it uh, corrects itself for the next game. Indeed.